The new state governor, Governor Godwin Obasiki, has taken a swipe at the All Progressive Congress, saying that the party has made life difficult for people of Edo State. <laughs> My people don't be small matter. All right, my wonderful people, before I go break the story, next after this, we have the APC and the Labour Party have disagreed with poor results. <laughs> my people don't be small wiggy. But before I go, you know, the food story, and welcome on our back to my wonderful channel, Validators. This has been given a back to back update and information. I see the hot. Since today, your first time to join our wonderful channel, kindly subscribe, like, comment, share. But don't forget to turn on the notification bell to get notified whenever I drop a video. Because I'm sure you don't want to miss out the channel. Latest this happen on social media to all of our subscribers. Thank you so much for joining us. To all of you out there, thank you so much for joining us. So my people, may we dive into the main theory. The new state governor, Governor Godwin Obasiki, has taken a swipe at the All Progressive Congress, saying that the party has made life difficult for the people of the state. The governor stated this on Thursday at his ward meeting at Ward 4, Oredo local government area of the state, describing APC as a party that is full of lies. He charged the people of Oredo state to vote against the party in the September 21st gospel election that APC policies caused inflation in Nigeria and the state and they made life difficult for them and as such they will never be near power again <laughs> that they are almost 16,000 that have collected PPC in this world and now through the continuous voters registration exercise they have added almost 1,500 more persons so there is no progress in their mouth that they have no campaign strategy, but they are full of lies. So Governor Gondor basically is saying that they need to come out as they all should to frustrate all the plans of APC because their ways are not straight. He accused the APC of gross mismanagement of the nation economy by its central government, which he said has inflated untold hardship and suffering on Edo people and Nigeria. Governor Godwin Obasiki also expressed confidence that the People Democratic Party will come out victorious in the forthcoming election, saying that his government's outstanding performance across all sectors of the state economy in the last eight years will end the party the victory in the forthcoming governorship election. That when they saw his performance on the voters' registration exercise, they had to commend him for a job well done. So he's here to remind them to go out and collect their permanent voters card because it's ready that this election will not be difficult because they have campaigned enough <laughs> so it's not his election because when he did his own election things were not as bad as difficult as they are today but when the people wanted to protest they appeared to them not to do so because some bad people plan to use the opportunity of the protest to destroy government infrastructure. So this election shall be their protest and they shall use the election to tell them that APC as a party is forbidden in Edo state. <laughs> so there is no space. So the people should come out in mass and vote for PDP. Even during that period of the protest, Chris Nikari said that the attention has been drawn you know, to a progressive Congress planning to orchestrate civil unrest and cause mayhem in the state under the guise of protests and rallies to advance their obnoxious political agenda. But you know what? I got to think of another number six. They don't even know their plans because they realize their folly of presenting an unlittered and incompetent candidate for governor. So they are trying their best to make sure that they will fix one double blow into that state. And Mondo Bobolo, according to what PDP said they heard, that he has continued to embarrass their party and his handlers in private and in public fora with his poor grabs of basic concepts and intellectual immaturity, consistently displaying an inability to articulate and coherent sell his vision to the electorate and other stakeholders. So now make they, they try cause chaos in the state. Now they do state government when they talk, say they are aware of their evil plans, the APC evil plans, but they will not sit idle and watch them unleash mayhem on the people of Edo State and cause chaos in the state. That is why they are telling people of Edo State to come out and vote for PDP. Because the hardship the people are passing through is being inflated by APC. My mate Governor Godin Obaseki said they are going to punish the APC. 
with this election they are going to use this election as their own protest so i guess i would like to know your thoughts your contributions your opinions are in our comment section i would love to hear from you moving on to the next one they do the chapter of the all progressive congress and the labor party have said that the african police suit pool results which gave the lead to the people democratic party as the september 21st gospel election draws closer the state publicity secretary of the APC, Peter Wadia Ibinege, on Friday said that the poor result will not pass an accurate test. The report of the institute cannot pass the accurate test due to the fact that the indices used to conduct and arrive at the result were not made public. The campaign the APC has done in Edo State and the number of persons they have spoken to in the 192 world and 18 local government areas shows that the APC is in the lead. Similarly, the Publicity Secretary of the Labour Party, Sam Urubai, also questioned the accuracy of the pool. <laughs> the African Police State Polling Wizard is just one of many polls conducted ahead of the election. Why they acknowledge the results? They do not entirely believe in its accuracy because they said it does not reflect the true position of things on the ground. That their own internal poll and grassroots engagement suggest a different outcome. That Olumida Wada is the most popular and widely accepted candidate by Edo people. So they cannot take what the African Police Suit polling results is saying. Hey, <laughs> my people don't be small, but uh, my people ahead of the Edo State going to be election in Edo State. The API releases their Edo State 2024 pre election public opinion polling results. And the results were made known in a statement signed by the executive director, Prof. Bell Ihua, which indicated the governorship candidate under the platform of the People Democratic Party, as we hold lead with 43%. So, according to the API, a significant proportion of undecided voters, 28%, may be able to swing the vote in favor of any of the two leading candidates. In addition, 94% of respondents were registered in Edo State and they have collected their permanent voters card. Why 83% had given some thought to Edo 2024 governorship election? The data further revealed that the top five factors that will mainly influence voters' decision in the election are the candidate competency, 57%, the candidate personality, 42%, the candidate experience and track record, 36%, the political party, 34%, and the party manifesto slash policy stance that is the same person among others so with that result the african polling institute has released <laughs> the apc and the labor party have disagreed with the poll because that result shows that as we hold the pdp candidate is leading with 43 percent but pdp and labor party are saying that that result is inaccurate due to the fact that the indices used to conduct and arrive at the results we are not made public <laughs> so guys i would like to know your thoughts your contributions your opinions are in our comment section i would love to hear from you once again thank you so much for staying to us on this note we have come to the end of today's segment like all your days bye for now